we the killings in this country imekuwa way too many nimekuwa nikifuatilia a certain facebook page ya Simon Mudiora na vitu zinafanyika in this country mpaka unajiuliza hizi ma killings ziko in the same Kenya we are living in ama kuna different Kenya outside there Jeff ndio amekuwa exhumed today kuna Brenda ambaye tumesikia pia aliuliwa kuna kijana fulani pia wanasema two weeks after Meland job akapata vi, vitu zake zimeibiwa kwa nyumba akaenda karipotu uko kasarani wakapuzilia tu hiyo malalamishi yake then afterwards akapatikana ti supposedly amejihang na kwa kwa window an, anaonekana tu hapo then before time ni digest hizo zote nimeona tena kuna history ya Zack ambaye alitisha cab then akauliwa after ametoka party ya hizi jobs mi najiuliza hizi killings zimekuwa way too many alafu tunazisikia na hakuna mtu ameshikwa kuhusiana na hizi vitu in this country people are walking free na madaras it got me thinking sa zingine venye watu tu sisi human beings tunakwanga wajanja wajanja una labda hata unaambia your family uko nenda place different na when you know at the back of your mind uko nenda tena kwingine for example mimi niko best in ngoma So niko tu hapa labda nasema nenda Mumias kumbe mimi najua mwenyewe nenda kama laba. Imagine something in happen. Unaona stress umeche your family. Wanenda wanasema alikuwa ameenda Mumias, wacha wamtafutie huko. When in real sense umeenda malaba. Ebu imagine your stress. Mimi naona at this era everyone should be a content creator. Unajua instincts za mtu zinakwanga juu sana. Unaweza pick yani tu feel like ah ah kuna kitu iko abnormal kwa your surrounding you feel anything if abnormal me i can tell you for free yani just record yourself live ongea chenye unaweza ongea na si lazima ati utajiekea unajua when you sense danger hauwezi anza kujiekea kamera hivi yetu unajiangalia no so inamaanisha hata kai itakuwa ina face chini what is important ni your voice venye unaongea unasema hata na sense danger kuna mtu hivi na hivi hata nasikia maybe wasewa na muita naitwa hivi yani just try kupeana clue because sometimes you never know na pia kama kuna unajua pia unaweza angalia hiyo setup kuna venye pia unaweza pata chance ya kuponyoka kwa situation fulani don't yani wait for too long instinct zako zinakwambia ibu hata tunianze kukimbia manipige nduru but unaona ti yeye mimi ni slay queen oh sijui mimi ni babi sijui mimi nini unaanza kunyamaza ukinyamaza that's when you can meet your death when labda ungejoko hata we mwenyewe so in in essence pia naweza sema kuna hizi mambo za okoa jazi sasa hizi. Yaani usijiweke pale penye uko point o. Penye ni umeokoa jazi, umetumia bonga points zako zote, hauna ta credit. Yaani sasa hizi inafaa ukwe na airtime kwa simu so that unaweza purchase bundle ndio ukwe live. Yaani at least hata hata apart from hiyo kukua live kuna hata ku call Then kuna hii setting ya kuweka location on. Sasa hizi ni very key uneka location yako on so that in case of anything by the kuna unajua si watu tunapanga na gadgets lakini maybe mtu mwingine hajakuwa na interest because uja feel that lazima uko na interest ya kitu fulani but in this era sasa hizi inafaa tu ujue mambo ya vitu nyingi kuhusiana na simu so kuna hii part ya kama unaenda whatsapp alafu unafinya hiyo kitu ya kwa touch unaona venye unafinyanga alafu na attach maybe ka photo unafinya hapo then ukiattach utone itapo itakuonyesha hapo kuna palipa location finya hapo location kuna hata hiyo live sharing wacha ikuwe live ionyeshe basi yeye huyu mse ana move from this point to the other itaendelea tu ku record hivyo hiyo kitu pia itakusaidia alafu pia tukue transparent when mtu unasema unaenda place fulani wacha tu watu wajue unaenda wapi ama kama maybe umefika place fulani sema tu niko pale fulani usianze kuweka uko ra nyingi akionekane eh ni nimetek time pale ilikuwa so maybe unasema hata niko kwa barabara na kuja when in real sense hata maybe uko sufa imagine kukwenda kama vile kulikonga na terrorist attacks umekuwa hata terrorized huko mtu anajua tu ah mi mtu wangu ako safe because ameniambia yuko uko ameniambia kwa place fulani so sasa hizi tukwe tu truthful because the world we are living in in a change alafu pia kuna kitu ya people trusting too much don't just meet with anyone at a, not even strangers alone even that best friend of yours chungana na yeye because you never know 
at those people who hurt us the most are our closest friends see your stranger stranger ama your enemy had you anything about you it's your friend mwenye anajua your every movement umemwambia ti leo nitafanya hivi nitafanya hivi so yeye ndo anakujua zaidi alafu most important avoid nyumba za watu where you are safe it is your house it is your home that's where you are safe Usi wacha hizi mambo za kuinvitewa uko uko tu available. Eh hey, sijua ame eh hey, unaweza kuja tu tuko na sijui if the birthday party wende huyo nataka kukuattend kila kitu. Jichunge yani yani kama hata ni kulala nja wewe lala nja kwako. But usianze kuruka ruka kwa watu. Sasa hizi people we are killing each other kwa hizi tu ma housewarming ma birthday party imagine paka hata hizi ma baby shower tume tume realize watu wangapi wamekufa kwa hizo ma events tumeona hawa mama wenye wako expectant when inafika sasa hiyo last minute when you are expecting to hold your baby that's when you are dying na si tu maternal deaths ni baby shower things hizi so tuachane tu na vitu tu unataka kukua current kwa kila kitu unataka kuwa available kwa kila kitu no have limits usiendele kwa watu then kuna watu wenye wako kwa business kama hata mimi nimekuwa tena sometimes mtu hata anakwambia eh hey, unakaa wapi juu mimi hata stock zingine zilikwanga kwa nyumba sometimes but not now so unaanza kukuambia ka customer akuje mpaka kwa nyumba do you know you are putting your family in danger plus yourself mtu anajua alafu anaanza ku feel like eh hey, hata niza mwibia ni chukua hizo vitu na pia ku expose to too, too much about your house kwa strangers alafu kuna ile pia party ya ati unafanya delivery wewe unachukua kitu mtu anakwambia naishi place fulani hebu nilete hapo wewe unaenda kwa a total stranger ku deliver do you know what can happen when uko uko alafu being a lady maybe hata umeitwa na na customer ni mail uende uko uwezi jua what can happen alafu apart from hiyo umeona sasa hizi world venye kumeenda sasa hizi the legalized about lgbtq inamaanisha nini it's not that the opposite sex ndio iko to at risk sasa hizi hata same sex ni uko at risk si hata story ya kina Jeff umeona venye kulienda hiyo story ya kina Jeff ati oh alikuwa anaenda kutafuta jobs juu ama alikuwa ameitiwa job ama wherever unaona hiyo ilikuwa ti in the line of duty na mtu akalitu nipe yake you are not safe with anyone stay safe by being transparent being honest being truthful alafu most importantly don't trust anyone yani kila mtu muangalie ka suspect trust yourself trust your family wacha basi hao ndo wakugeuke but bloody speaker than water so brenda venye niko nyuma ya camera mm-hmm. there is something ambayo umesema umesema record mm-hmm. wakati ume sense danger record alafu hata anza kuongea vitu fulani fulani mm-hmm. but just to add to that <coughs> ningependa kusema like uh, sometimes just record and keep quiet mm-hmm. jupe umtanza kwa pana kuuliza maswali ana kuna maana kutishia na kama umeweka live ina maana kwamba if someone at, anakuwa na watch ama if people will come and meet this your live recording mm-hmm. somehow unaweza uka solve the puzzle hata kama umekufa inakuwa kidogo rahisi hata familia yako basi kupata ile closure inaitwa nini closure eh? mm-hmm. inakuwa kidogo mzuri therefore sometimes pia mtaka mtaka gundua maybe you are recording tena yani isijulikane you are recording that's why nilisema sometimes situation ni uko ndani si lazima tu hold phone uko hivi ikae nika una record sometimes hata tu unaweza kana nika una click kitu hivi then unaiweka tu hapo so ni sound ndo ina pick si hata watu wenyewe so hata wacha watu wenyewe ndo waongee hizo maongezi zao zisikike na sometimes pia kuna hizi pia njaro za lift hata mimi nimeia encounter Unapata mtu anasimama hapa na kuuliza tunaenda wapi? Unaenda wapi kwani you are just too trusting unapanda kwa gari ya watu strangers huwezi jua. So, na kama you are that type na you are trusting, then ebu ataangalia kwa namba plate ya gari. Ebu ataandikia besto umwambie nime imagine kuna mtu fulani hivi hapo so kind amenikia lift. Unaona? At least leave a clue. Na if it's not leaving a clue, just be safe. But what I can tell you, the world right now haitaki <laughs> hizo to entertain everyone. Just be careful location on na most importantly enye ntarudia tena yani just be transparent na usiye yenda kwa watu be transparent ambia tu mtu nimeenda supermarket na ukweli umeenda supermarket nimeenda kwa a friend's house friend wangu fulani anaitwa fulani wamujue 
so that wakitafutwa wanasema wewe lakini Brenda ilisema nenda kwa mtu fulani unaona very true eh lakini usi hata fika huko chukua hata photo sema hebu tupige picha na wewe nimekuja hapa kwako ni hata nitaenda ni show watu nilikuja hivyo alafu hata venye ume take photo forward it kwa whatsapp eh, forward it kwa whatsapp kwa mtu so that yani at least kuna hiyo evidence lakini usikae tu malamala tu ya trusting people na nafikiri na nafikiri Brenda huyo mtu Yafaa awe ni mtu ambaye anajua ni kwa nini anapokea this. Anapokea hey. for your safety. Isikuwe kwamba tu tunatuma, alafu mtu hata mtu ana, ana, ana reply anasema wow you looking good. Hey. Ni kwamba umemwambia huyo mtu mapema before time hey. that natoka hapa naenda ku meet a certain business deal kwenda kufanya na mtu fulani mali fulani. Mm-hmm. Now when this when unatoka hivyo ina maana kwamba any information ambayo huyo anapata anajua kwamba so far kama ni roba. Anajua kwamba so far roba amefika huko. So far ni kama wame discuss hii. So far ni, ni kama ni ule mtu ani anapata information just in case roba asirudi. Sendio. Huyo mtu sasa isikuwe kwamba tinati unatumia tu ati people. Ato. You need you need to be very specific kwamba unatumia mtu ambaye anajua kwa nini ana receive hizi vitu mm-hmm. in case asirudi. Mjue alikuwa mwisho mahali fulani very specific. Yeah. Kwa hivyo inamaanisha kwamba familia pia sasa hawa watu waanze kusema kwamba mimi wakati natoka mke wangu Brenda naenda ku meet mtu fulani hapo ndipo penye ukweli tunasema mambo ya ukweli hapo ndipo penye ukweli nafaa uanzie naenda ku meet mtu fulani sasa inamaanisha wewe nitakwambia huyo mtu anaitwa hivi nimejaribu hata kumtumia pesa kwa line ambayo amenipigia kulingana na Mpesa majina ambayo ametokea ni hivi namba yake ya simu ni hii na, sa, na, na hata kabla ya simu nimefika kwa gate ya huyo mtu Inafaa ni kujulisha sasa saa hizi ndio niko ndio niko kwa gate ama ndio niko kwa lift naenda kwa hiyo ofi nikiingia tukutane na e, I can also tell you na hata hiyo ambayo unasema recording ya kuficha ficha naweza ficha tu simu lakini uweze kusikia oh Robert welcome tulikuwa tumesema hivi na hivi so that hata wewe pia uweze kupata that recording mm-hmm. nafikiri itakuwa vizuri sana unaona hata kama kesi ya accident ilifanyika watoto wa pwani yes. unaona sometimes pia labda hata pia ni mtoto wako anasoma huko mm. then labda tu umedanganya mzazi wao tuko na trip tumeenda as in not that umedanganya but kuna hiyo trip is happening mm. but you are not going mm. alafu imagine kama stress ya jana yenye ilipatikana unajua sasa your parent is worked up and then you look for your accident when in real sense unataka tu kupata pesa but you are not traveling yes. sasa yani transparency iko kwa mambo nyingi juu pia kuna hata road accident mm. wewe umesema nenda labda moja yes. alafu kumbe umeenda malaba mm. then accident hata inatokea your people hata hawa hata ikupata maybe yes. because they are looking in the wrong places unaona no, na hata kama watakupata umewapatia uchungu fulani tena tofauti. Yes wanalia kukupoteza, pia wana regret ama ama wanajilaumu, ama pia wanakulaumu wewe sorry, wanakulaumu. Wana Mbona aungetuambia tu ukweli ili hata sisi labda kukubali umeondoka, kukubali umelala, inakuwa kidogo kwetu rai, raisi. Therefore you'll be hurting people even more after your death of which, of which that should not be the case. Mimi hata eh, nimekumbuka an incident yenye kulikuwa na customer akakuja tukamfanyia kazi na ilikuwa somehow confidential ile yeah. kazi ilikuwa confidential. So akalipa but hakumaliza pesa yote. Akaniambia tikuja hapa parking kuna pesa nyingine kwa kwa gari. So kwenda kwa hiyo gari kulikuwa na uh, 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 walikuwa gents na mm. walikuwa wengi. Na I was the only lady. Wakaniambia tunajua considering the nature of this job dizel kwa zimepangwa hapo kwa gari pia hapo chini hmm. so akasema ti hebu ingia tu wakupe hiyo pesa hapo ndani ya gari i think any sometimes pia kwa stations zingine you become stupid hmm. because unajiambia yani kama ni pesa na kazi ilikuwa confidential iko kwa nini kwa hmm. gari mbona tu asitoe pesa wakupatia alafu hmm. nikaingia kwa gari kuingia kwa gari wacha gari itoke mbio ati wacha twende tuzunguke hivi unajua kuna watu fulani walikuwa na to follow mpaka unashangaa kwa nini Naendaji. watu walikuwa walikuwa na nia gani hmm. what if she day patikane venye who, who is chasing them hmm. naona hmm. na wanaenda speed ambapo tena mnaweza pata accident ndio yani nilikuwa worried hati na pump kabisa huko ile like god yani yani it's like you are saying your last prayers so, because wezi jua ndio mwisho wa sasa okay so waka stop waka nilipa but it was a lesson so Brenda ukiongea hivyo what i'm trying to learn from that hata tunakusaidia wafanye biashara ofanyi biashara. Imagine mtu amekuja amenunua vitu kwa duka yako mm-hmm. na anasema kuja twende nikupatie pesa ha, mali fulani tofauti either kwa ATM ama wapi ama kuja twende alafu aingie kwa gari akupeleke mali fulani. 
I think pia wafanye biashara wako elevu waache kukubali vitu kama vile. Wewe baki na mzigo mwambie hapana. Wewe enda ulete hiyo pesa alafu mimi nitakupa mzigo. Therefore usioni tu pesa kwanza. Maisha pia iko pale na maisha I want to believe iko valuable than the man. Iko valuable alafu talking of that a friend of ours mwenye hata obvious unajua but this is just for the viewers. Mm. Si unakumbuka huyu friend mwenye alituambia walikuwa anauza manguo alafu kuna this elderly couple walikuwa nakuja pia kwa their business na walikuwa na promote sana. Kabisa. So there was this day wakakuja wakachukua na wakamwambia but twende ATM tuchukue pesa. Ukweli ni kwamba wakaenda ATM wakachukua. Kuchukua kurudi kwa gari wakaanza wakamsukuma akaanguka nje na wakafunga wakaenda walienda na pesa walienda na mali yake an elderly couple mwenye una feel like kati yao wako trusted alafu tena ni si customer wa day one ni mtu mwenye amekuwa kikuja sometimes just don't be too trusting unaona unadhania tu wewe uwezi your intention ya mtu huyu alikuwa customer mwenye alikuwa narudi but they had an intention na intention yao ilikuwa kukuidia na what if wangesema ti eh lakini huyu hata tusimrushe nje tumuue because anatujua unaona so unaona na kwa si unawajua in depth but by description hmm. so sometimes tunaendenja our lives mimi nasema tu mimi it's not like at I'm doing so good lakini heri mabaya nikate ndani ya hii mall wakuje labda shida ipatikane kwa hii mall lakini sio kwa parking sio kwa deliveries i don't do that deliveries heri hata nitume hata boda guy nimwambie peleka pale fulani but kwenda mwenyewe it's risky so i think Brenda thank you for coming up with that idea ya kushare that just to help one or two people out there na kama itasaidia yani kwamba maisha moja ama mbili iweze pata kuokoka it is a big win yeah. because right now i'm seeing actually ni kweli vinyo umeanza kusema kwa this video people are dying like flies and what wanakufa ni kiolela kabisa tena wanakufa wengi at a tender age because kut, kuangalia that page ya mudhiora ukiangalia kijana ncba ni mtu ambaye like ukimwangalia yako kwa early 30s ama late 20s ukiangalia mtu kama yule kijana mwingine jeff watu wadogo wadogo tu watu ambao wafai kuwa and people that are, are still having a future ahead of them therefore what last word can you say before to close this mimi nasema tu tukue content sometimes pia hii tama unatamani lifestyle flani unaona venye labda your friends are driving unaona the money they are handling don't be fooled you don't know secrets zenye watu wana keep in the closet just be content hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza be content everything will fall in place alafu most importantly don't forget about god